Hurricane Irma boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a Hurricane Damage Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? So these are the weak areas um, that de uh, the tabbing delaminated on the front and back side of the engine rooms. And there was a crack through here. So we just dug that crack out all the way through to the other side and then we filled it with epoxy. And now it's getting three layers of biax and epoxy over the whole, from right, way down there all the way up to here on the front, front and back side of this bulkhead. So gonna be super, super strong. This used to just be glued to the hull, we've we'll tabbed that all in, glassed all around here. Same in this uh, starboard side cabin, it's all glassed back together, tabbed into the hull. Um, yeah, looking real good. So this just carries the floorboards here, and uh, same with this side. Sump repair here looks really good. It's all glassed back together with epoxy, and remember we put 5200 underneath it so it's glued back down to the hull connecting all of this. Look at that guys, that's our glass work for this part of the hull in the engine room. So from back there all the way down there, tabbed with three layers of biax. There's only two there originally. And um, epoxy. One thing, I'm kicking myself, we forgot to cut a piece of peel ply for this. Uh, that would have just made it just blend into that um, wall so much nicer. But by the time I remembered, we'd already uh, started classing it. So, fortunately it doesn't look as nice as I would have liked, but it still looks super good. And the strength is here, which is the main thing. Here's the starboard side of the engine room. Again, all glass from back there, right down to that we ground down there with epoxy. So, super strong, that is not going anywhere. And again, three layers on this side and three layers on the other side of the bulkhead. I'll show you that right now. All glass and tabbed and reinforced right back to here. All that goes down there about uh, 600 millimeters, just over half a meter back there. And then up the wall. And then this locker, a lot of the glue, this was just that glue um, holding this locker together, which that's the hull. This is obviously the deck. So we'll glass it together this time, so that's going nowhere. So, I don't think anyone can say this is not a good and strong repair. You may remember how much deflection we had in this engine room. It was um, 40 millimeters from, from side to side. There was a 40 millimeter gap when we ran a string line across, which is huge. Um, the reason that we're not reinforcing it more than what we have um, is because if the mast bulkhead, the primary bulkhead, does not snap, then all the load of the boat won't come on this engine room. So technically there's going to be so much less force on this bulkhead than there was after the failure. So by reinforcing the mast bulkhead, the primary bulkhead, to the extent that we have, the, bulk, the boat is not going to bend and move and deflect like it, like it was before. So um, I was originally thinking 
hey, I'm going to reinforce this entire bulkhead here, seeing how much that it bent. Um, and Lagoon said, no, don't worry about it. Just focus on the mast bulkhead. And it, it, um, it extends throughout the boat. As long as that one's strong, the rest of the boat won't get all these forces, which ripped basically every bulkhead off the frame. guys there's the repair this was a, a bad crack there remember we filled it with epoxy and now that's got um, five layers of glass there with that overlap all of this is three layers and then we've tabbed it in down here so hopefully this has now got the strength to uh, support that hold that um, bridge deck up guys you see this see this right here see all that tabbing you know what that is that's the last bit of glassing we have to do inside the boat. Hopefully ever. So stoked! It was an incredible feeling to be finally done with all the fiberglass work. Not only had we built brand new bulkheads from scratch, we had also removed every single square inch of the glue that was holding the boat together and replaced it with epoxy and biaxial glass. This was now hands down the strongest Lagoon 450 in the world and we were extremely proud of what we had accomplished. But our main focus now was to put the interior back together, which was to be no small task. Look at this. This is my cabin. So, we're gonna start cutting this fiberglass everywhere. All over the floor. Big roll. Jamie's already started in that cabin. So, the game plan is to vacuum the cabin first and then take all of this stuff. Take note, wipe this it. is the third vacuum. This is the third vacuum we've done before we even start like, properly. <laughs> third vacuum, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so we're gonna wipe all this stuff down and then take it into that cabin. Sorry. After he's done vacuuming the cabin, me and Sylvia are gonna come in there with our hose and a scrubbing brush, and we're just gonna scrub the entire cabin. We're gonna turn the power off to the boat, just in case we short out a light switch or something, and just blast water around and just literally scrub the entire cabin. So that cabin will be clean, and then we'll take all of this stuff and we'll wipe it down. All of this is coming off, and then we'll put the clean carpentry just into the cabin and then we can vacuum this cabin and hose this cabin down and the bathroom and then we can think about moving in here so I'll put my bed's got to go here so there's a long way to go before my bed's going here for the next day or so this boat's gonna be livable again this is super exciting man it's been tough we took this wood out and there's just water ah oh, there's dust everywhere it's all running down but there's so much dust and it's in behind everything it's just coming out now it's pretty clean it was just coming through as a white river man this is the cabin these forward cabins are the ones that got most dust in them okay guys so we finished cleaning the cabins on the port side yesterday and they look incredible so obviously we put so much water everywhere that uh, it was really, really damp. We, we uh, wiped it all down with a chamois, but just inside the wood around the bed and stuff was a bit damp. So we slept on our friend's boat for one more night um, and we ran this dehumidifier overnight. So it's feeling really dry and really nice down here. And it's clean. Just have to put that drawer back, but this is all clean now. So nice to have a dust-free environment for the first time in weeks. All right guys, so as you know, we want to move back into the boat. Um, this is where Jamie's sleeping. So we just want to put this stuff back together before we put the mattress so we're just not making more dust and shit while we're trying to live here. So um, 
we're gonna see if this goes back together how we wanted it to. So this piece here that we had to cut out to redo this tabbing, uh, remember this is all new epoxy tabbing here on the front side of the engine room. We're in the starboard aft cabin. And now that it's all glassed back in, it's gla glassed into the front side of this uh, engine room bulkhead. So it's super, super strong again. Um, we've just put these white panels back on. Um, so hopefully there's only one or two cuts that will be visible and we'll just put a couple of battens or maybe just a bit of cord around or something. This we made a, a sacrificial cut straight through there unfortunately. We, there was no other place. Instead, this won't come up. This is connected to this and it's all connected from the back side and it's also connected to this. There's no way this will come up. Um, so we had to cut it somewhere. So we cut it in the narrowest part. Um, it's just the way it goes. I'll see if I can get this bad boy back in. Oh well, we're gonna have to put something over here to cover this cut anyway, so I'm gonna have to just damage this edge a bit. We can put just a nice little bit of trim or something over that. No other way. Go. So we're gonna have to put something over that. So we just put a little uh, little uh, batten in there. Doesn't look the prettiest, but hey, it's the inside of a, of a little cupboard here. Try to get this uh, base of it back in. Cool. All right, let's see if this fits. See how it closes. Come on, baby. Perfect. <laughs> now let's put these panels on. Here we go, guys. So if we're gonna get fussy, that um, sacrificial cut that we had to make there, um, we'll just put a bit of trim or something over that just to make it look pretty but that is definitely not a high priority item for us to cross the Pacific. All right now we're in port aft cabin, this cabin that I sleep in and we're gonna put back the panels and then try to get that corner of the um, room back together. You can see I've already done a little bit, um, got the backing plates and stuff in there so then we got to get that little draw back together. So we are going to start putting this cabin together. Pretty exciting moment. Um, we're going to start with this side. Let's see how this goes. I don't think it's going to be as easy as we think. Um, we've cut. I'll take you outside. So we've realized we've made our first mistake. We were kind of expecting this to happen so it's not really a mistake. We were hoping that this would go in um, with the that extra bit of plywood that we added but it doesn't we're about five millimeters too thick so this was completely extra what we did and thinking about it now I probably wouldn't bother if I had to do this again um, because this is what we're going through so what uh, we've done is we've cut a bunch of slots in here with um, with the circular saw and um, chiseled it out here we go guys, we've taken the uh, section out of the back of this wall and just finished taking some out of this wall so that it will go back against this wall. There we go, so you can see that slot that we took out of there for that we'll screw this into the wall again we've got a whole bunch of stainless steel screws so we're just going to work our way up next is to put this um, piece on here and then we'll keep going up Just 
coming together, coming together. Okay, so the actual drawers and the closet are in now, so we're just doing all the trim and stuff like that. So we knock these off, there's usually a couple of screws into it. So I'm gonna put them back. So we'll just do this one first. Now we're gonna put the top door frame in. And then it should fit. I haven't tested. <laughs> Look at that. It's going to be exciting when I come out of the closet. <laughs> and we'll see if this door is square. Oh! Alright, door's in. Let's see how it closes. Yes, look at that gap. Perfect. Okay, the last thing we gotta do is uh, put some battens under here and here. So that's where the old shelf used to go through. So we just gotta put a batten under it there like that, just to carry that. Same up there. There we go, guys, that's one half of the cabinet tree back together. Still have to do this side, but really, really happy with how we did this, guys. So, well, what's visible still? We're gonna cut all the way through here, so we can put a little quarter round in there, and a bit of trim over that. Let's open up here. This is all original, except for that cut that we made there continues. Other than that, this went back exactly how it was up there. We'll just take that wire there because that's for the fan which goes there. Lights back together. The bed comes right up to here, so this is all hidden. Not that it's that's exactly how it was. Let's close that. That all ended up square again. Beautiful. This this is flush with that. So that 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 uh, fascia piece can just go straight on there, curve up there. So that all worked out. Here's the lower cupboard. Those drawers. The, the only thing, I don't know if you can see, it's quite messy in there. The way that we cut it with the saber saw, I'll be honest with you, it doesn't look too pretty. Now let me get a light. So you can see it's all scratched up. Pretty gnarly looking, but it's strong. We've put a batten underneath it there. So this thing's not going anywhere. Same here, there's a batten under there screwed into the wall and screwed into the drawer so it just looks a little bit messy but honestly for what we're gonna do it is more than adequate and the beauty of all of this is that it can be unscrewed every screw that we put in can come out not like when they come out of the factory all the screws are coming in from behind the wall into these things so they cannot be taken out without breaking things so, very happy with that. Tomorrow's mission, we're gonna start on this side. We were considering leaving this all open for the sea trial, but honestly, this is so strong that we're not gonna see anything. We're not gonna see anything, we're not gonna hear anything. It is epoxy, it's three layers of ply inside. Sandwiched together with epoxy glue, it's not going anywhere. The only thing what we're, what, that we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this side open so that we can see the tabbing and everything go all the way to the mast. So um, we're gonna not put any of the carpentry back here, which is just the wall and a wall and some of the trim. So this is gonna be staying like this, but from here onwards, it's gonna be ready to be lived in.